This is Rick Karg of Residential Energy Dynamics. I'm going to walk you through the use of the Red Calc Free ASHRAE 62.2 2016 ventilation tool. This short video is a good place to start if you want to quickly learn about the use of this calculation aid. Please watch the extended version video tutorial if you want to learn more about the details of this useful web application. This red calc free tool is for sizing dwelling unit ventilation in new and existing dwellings in both single family and multifamily buildings. I'm going to start from the top of the tool and work down. First of all, the top section of the tool. The ASHRAE 62.2 standard treats new and existing construction differently. You can see you have a choice here, new or existing parts of the tool will disappear when you choose one or the other. The example that I do will be for existing buildings. The next item is dwelling unit is detached or attached to other dwelling units. This is new to the 2016 version of the ASHRAE standard. If you want to know more about this, please watch the extended video tutorial. The next and final input for this section of the tool is use infiltration credit. You have a choice of yes or no. We recommend that you choose yes for most cases. For one case when you would choose no would be a multifamily building that has dwelling units in it that are stacked, that is one above the other. The ASHRAE standard does not allow any infiltration credit for that. So in that case of stacked multifamily dwellings in a multifamily building, you would choose no. Otherwise, we recommend that you use yes. The next section of the red tool is closest to weather station. Select either the United States or Canada. I've selected the United States. You can select one of the 50 states. I've selected Colorado. And here you see for a particular state, you will see the cities that are listed for weather stations. I have chosen the Denver International Airport. After choosing those three drop downs, we get the result of the weather and shielding factor of 0.5. 5.9 for the Denver International Airport. I want to look now at the building data section right here, starting with floor area where I have entered 2050. Continuing with the building data section, and I have scrolled the tool a bit, next number of occupants, you have choices here in a drop down of from 1 to 10 occupants, as you can see. The next input in the building data section of the tool is building height. The standard assumes 2.5 meters as the height for one floor. If you convert that to feet, that is 8.2 feet. I have put 17 feet in this example. The last input in this section is the measured leakage at 50 pascals. I have entered 1400 CFM at 50 pascals or CFM 50. This is a measurement you get from a blower door for the whole house. This is an important value. It is needed for the infiltration credit just as the building height is needed for the infiltration credit. Next I'm going to talk about the alternative compliance path of the ASHRAE 62.2 standard. For the details of the alternative compliance section of the red tool, first of all you can select or deselect the kitchen. And notice I have entered values here already. If I deselect the kitchen, you can see it goes away. If I select it, the number I've already entered is there, 65. And then for bathrooms, I can select anywhere from 0 to 5. If I select 5, notice what happens. I'm going to go back to 2 for my example, 2 bathrooms. Then in this part of the table, I have the fan flow. Now the ASHRAE standard states that the fan flow must be measured. The existing fan flow must be measured. So 
that's what we have here. Does it have an openable window or not? If it has an openable window, that has an impact on the total deficit over here. Kitchen, 65. I measured it. Has an openable window. I check that. It makes no difference whether it has one openable window or seven. I click this and I get a credit toward the deficit of 20. Bath number one, I measure it. It has a fan flow of 25 CFM. Bath number one has an openable window. It has a total deficit of 5 CFM. Bath number two, I measure the fan. It has a CFM of 30. No openable window because it's on the interior of the house. Therefore, it has a deficit of 20. And the entire deficit, all of these added together, adds up to 40 CFM. Now for the dwelling unit ventilation results. By the way, before the 2016 version of the 62.2 standard, this was called whole building ventilation. First of all, effective annual average infiltration rate. This is a value that you get from your blower door test and it's an averaged constant flow rate that has the equivalent effect on air quality is the real year-round ventilation infiltration rate. So that's the infiltration. Next, an important number is the total required ventilation rate, or Q-tote. Now, Q-tote comes from the equations that are now listed on the slide as an overlay. Q-tote is the total amount of ventilation that we need. This will be made up of natural air leakage and mechanical ventilation. Next is the alternative compliance supplement. That comes from the alternative compliance path section of the tool just above. And remember, for our example, the total deficit was 40. We divide that by 4, and that gives us 10. So that number gets added to the 91 from Qtote. So now we have 101. Next is the infiltration credit. This comes from our blower door test also, and it is Qinf for infiltration. So we have 91. We add the alternative compliance supplement to that. We subtract the infiltration credit amount. This is the amount that is coming from natural air leakage. And the remaining amount is the required mechanical ventilation rate, or Q fan. For this example, that is 44 CFM.